What is going on guys? Welcome back to episode number four of the Sevilla career mode in FIFA 21. And now today we're going to be starting off with this game against Rennes. So well, let me quickly show you as I always do what we're going to try to get through in this episode. We're going to get through probably the most games in this episode by than any other. We're definitely getting through all four of these games and I'm probably going to end it around this Real Madrid game to close out the video. Maybe get into late November here around Thanksgiving time. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to like and subscribe and turn that bell on so you don't miss notifications when I post other YouTube videos for this career mode and other things. Also check the Twitch in the description and the Discord to stay up to date with everything either way let's start with this in the last episode as we know um it was not good um before that in our second and first we were starting off with wins uh, you see we were perfect in august september we started off with two nice wins and then the cadiz draw hit us we came back against the getafe and then we lost to chelsea one to four lost to barca two one and we drew to Athleti, which doesn't sound bad but then again, it does when we were up 5-2 to two with 9 minutes remaining, and we blew that lead, and it's FIFA, so the time goes by fast. So I'm going to bounce back in this episode, we're going to get through a lot of games, and we're going to hope to do well. Ren is actually bottom of the group right now, but since we just had a huge setback against Chelsea, and technically I still think Ren is the third best team in this group, I am going to play this one here. You can look at the team, they're a bit tired and things. I am going to put um, Torres in just because he's a bit more healthy um, and Rakitic. And Rakitic, you know, hasn't been at his best and Torres has. So we're going to get into this one to start the episode. Hopefully we can bounce back in the Champions League. And let's get right into the game. Here we are traveling to France to play Stade Rennes. And here it is. A big one here, especially for um, Rennes, who's expected to probably get at least third in this group, and they have lost both of their opening games, um, surprisingly. And we have started off decent. Um, we lost to Chelsea, and then we won against the Hercules team. So this is a big one here. And here goes Yusuf and Nassiri. They have good marking in the middle, Rennes. I'm going to keep looking here. Looking for Alejandro. Papu Gomez. It's falling. to Nassiri. Her capital is Zeus. He's put a wide. Here's good Asi. I might be mispronouncing these names, but here goes Rennes. Oh, that's a good ball inside. And they've made a 1-0. Jesus Navas was brought into the middle, and they, they formed a wide open spot there, and the player ran right into it, as you can see. Oh, we had no one on that side, and it's 1-0. Castrovilli makes it. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, what a ball there from Alejandro Papagones. I'm just going to go all the way here with Gabriel Jesus. Near post! Oh, what a finish. Cool, calm, and collected there. Not much power. He just calmly slots it home in the bottom right corner. All the way to Marcos Acuna. Acuna, back into the middle. Gabriel Jesus. He's on a brace, and he just takes a calm first touch and slots it right home. And we have turned this game around in the last 10 minutes. Gabriel Jesus... Oh my goodness, they've gotten in behind. That is terrible defending for me. Can I try to get back here? I'm going to try to put in a challenge. Decent challenging. Have they called a penalty? What have I done? What have I done? No way. What have I done here? I slid in. <laughs> I did this in the last episode I wanted to say against Athleti or someone. And I just do it again. It's just me being dumb. And now they have a chance to equalize here. David De Gea! Oh, this is why we bought him. What a save. Gabriel Jesus out wide, not the greatest pass. Gonna look back to Gabriel Jesus, who's on a hat trick! And he gets a first half hat trick. Take a bow for Gabriel Jesus, and they're actually gonna do the dance celebration. A couple of our players there. Let's go. This is a good way to go into halftime. Um, Jesus Navas here, we're on Esquardio. And then I'm also gonna bring on Suso for Enesiri, and then additionally, I'm bringing it off. Gabriel Jesus with a hat trick. Game's not over yet for sure, and here goes Rennes. They're trying to get one back, but excellent defending there. No, we've given it right to them. Oh my gosh, how many times does that happen to you guys in FIFA? You get the ball and you just give it right back, and they capitalize on an easy goal there. I'm going to try to play Oscar through. He came off the bench for reasons like this. And here goes Oscar. Oscar could get the crucial goal to seal the game. And that is what he does in the 84th minute. Oscar, who came off the bench for Gabriel Jesus to score a hat trick. He's gotten our fourth goal. The goal that we needed um, to the Atletico Madrid in the final five minutes. We better not do it here. But the wonder kid, Kamaving, has gotten through in the 89th minute. And if you remember last 
this episode, Athletics scored in the 89th minute, and then they equalized in the 90th. Um, this better not be a repeat. Okay, we should be fine here. I think the game has been sealed. And oh, what a pass from Alejandro Papa Gomez to find Lucas Ocampos. And it's another high scoring affair, an eight goal thriller, you could call it. And Lucas Ocampos, who hasn't been at his greatest this season, he gets another of those sealer goals. And he's made it five to three in this game. Back to back games that we have scored five goals in much needed win and honestly these this game the past game against Atleti has shown a lot of weaknesses and strengths of our team from top to bottom and Gabriel Jesus highlights it with a perfect 10 rating so after that game we now come to another big game just four days later it's against Real Sociedad in fourth place and if we look at the table if you remember we finished off the last episode in third place which is a quality position as we see Real Madrid and Barcelona slowly starting to separate themselves from the rest but we do have some super tired players for this one and that includes Alejandro Papu Gomez but we're going to get into this one. They got a strong team with players like Oyarz, the ball, Isak, Porto, David Silva, and a lot of others. Monreal is their captain. It's a big one here in La Liga, but let's hopefully we can bounce back and stop our little streak of not winning in La Liga. So here we go. So there are headlines here. Gabriel Jesus has scored three goals in his last match. And actually a quick fun fact for you guys. Gabriel Jesus scored a hat-trick in the last match. And then if you remember in episode three, Alejandro Papu Gomez scored a hat-trick as well against Atleti. So we've had back-to-back -back games with players scoring a hat-trick and five goals. So our attack is really not the problem here. Maybe it's the defense. Maybe it's in the midfield. Oh, Alexander Isak here might get in behind. He's a very fast and tall player, which is really good for FIFA. And... They've made it 1-0. Nagnon, who we brought on for Julius Kunde, has kind of been caught here. But David De Gea, should he be saving that? I don't know. But the experienced David Silva makes it 1-0 in just 9 minutes. Oh my gosh, they've gotten in behind here. What a pass! And just 2 minutes apart from each other, they've made it 2-0. Oh my goodness. What a pass there. But our defense just got caught napping. Who's left him on side here? Wait a minute. Was he even onside there? Did, was he on? Oh my gosh, he was. Dude, what is Jesus Navas doing? Tracking him. Just Oh my gosh, they've gotten in behind again. Alexander Isak, what are you doing? It's three! In five minutes apart, they've made it 3-0. What has happened here? I seriously do not understand. These through balls are killing us. It's like putting... It's like putting turtles versus rabbits, and the rabbits are always going to win because they're 20 times faster. Diego Carlos looks like an amateur today on these chances, and terrible positioning play for one of their defenders. What a ball. Gabriel Jesus! He's gotten a goal right back. I believe that was Lucas Ocampos with the pass. Terrible positioning for Miguel Sociedad, and we get one goal back that is needed. Oh, that's a nice through ball in behind here. Nagnon. Nagnon's too slow! Get off the field. I'm tired of this. I don't care we're 41 minutes in. Nagnon has been atrocious, man. He has been atrocious. He has been terrible. I'm bringing on Julius Kunde. I don't care he's slightly tired. We need a better player. I don't care we're not even at halftime. We need to fix this. I Hopefully, Nagnon, man, oh, don't expect to be playing anytime soon. You've dropped down to my last choice. I don't care about your overall or anything. I'm going to try to play Gabriel Jesus through. Gabriel Jesus has got to be through here. Gabriel Jesus to give us a little bit of hope. And he missed it. Oh my goodness, they're looking for a fifth year. And here goes Real Sociedad. Julius Kunde plays good defense, but that does not wrap up a good game at all. That was a trash, terrible, atrocious, annoying, frustrating, all the bad words game. So after that game, we are sitting fourth in La Liga still. It is a bit close though, and it's still very early, but I just want to show you one thing. So I just want to show you guys at our last games. Our last games, we have lost to Real Sociedad 4-1. We won to Venice 5-3. We drew to Athletic 5-5, we lost to Barca 2-1, we lost to Chelsea 4-1. I just want to kind of show you guys. A lot of these are losses, some are draws, some are wins. But what do you notice? We concede 4 to Chelsea, concede 2 to Barca, concede 5 to Athletic, 3 to Rennes, 4 to Real Sociedad. We have conceded 18 goals in our last 5 games. We are conceding over 3 goals a game. And we are scoring about 3 goals a game. So, what this is telling me, guys, is looking at our team right now, obviously we are only in late October, and there is still two months to go. But if we're looking at this team, and we're looking at the defense, the defense is fine, but not completely fine. 
I think we're going to have to make some squad depth upgrades because after Diego Carlos and Julio Gunde, we have Nagnon, and I cannot stand him. I actually prefer this Wreck It guy, and I don't even know if Wreck It is good. So that is one thing we need. Another thing is that David De Gea, I don't think is really at fault for much. Um, personally, I think we might need someone better than Navas or Acuna, but it's hard to say, but it's it's not looking good so moving on from all of that here we have real valladolid um additionally we do have um levante just three days later and then we have renes and real madrid so what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to quick sim this one and are you kidding me it's a two to two draw you get a quick message here from bonnie when he says he needs more games you know what you know what? I'm giving him the next game. You guys did ask for 8 to 10 episodes in a season. I'm going to try to get through some games here. So I'm not going to be playing every single one. This one against Levante is going to be a highly rotated game. And that's the team we're going to go with. It's a bit tired. I think I'm going to have to do that. Um, besides that, the, the bench will stay the exact same. I'm going to do a visual sim for this one. And hopefully, we can bounce back. You're joking me, right? You're joking me. Here we go, a chance here, a chance here, a chance here. Youssef and the city gets the equalizer. Weird, but here go Levante. Levante looking for something. Just clear it, and I'll jump in right here. Oh, nice job by Oliver Torres. Oliver Torres, Oliver Torres. Yala Andrew, Papu Gomez here. Papu Gomez, I'm going to try to whip it across to the other side. Suso! Goal in the 82nd minute, and there it is. Not the prettiest win, but you know what? We got the job done. So we actually have to do something to the youth staff here. If you remember, we always had one of our scouts going to Spain every single uh, month. Um, the time is up here for, um, I believe, Portugal. So we're going to send him to a new country for three months. And let's try, and let's try, let's just try France. For this one here against Ren, as I said, I'm going to do a sim for this one. I'm looking at the team and they're pretty much fit. And the only thing I have to remind you guys of is we do have Real Madrid in just three, four days. But I am going to play the strongest team here. And this is the home game against Rennes in the group. And we win 3 nil. We got Gabriel Jesus, Yusuf Anasiri, and then Suso coming off the bench and scoring 13 minutes later for a nice 3 nil win. But that is the lineup that we're going with. And you can see the Real Madrid team. It looks just like real life. Very, very, very good. They do have Alderweireld in the back. But yeah, let's get into this one. This would be a huge game to win after the Levante win, but anything can happen. So here we are in Seville, in Spain, hosting one of the biggest games that the Sevilla fans see each year. Uh, the Bayern we will also beat, so don't count this one out. Yo, oh, Benzema's got in behind here. Kunde's gonna try to put in a challenge. Oh, what a save from David De Gea. Here goes Real Madrid. Karim Benzema putting in all these skill moves here. Tony Cruz into Hazard. Hazard. Tony Cruz, man. David. David De Gea, man. He made an excellent save earlier and he gets beaten near post. He should be saving that. Come on, let's try to get something from here. Here goes Yusuf Ennis here. We have so many runners in the box. Looking all the way on the other side. For Alejandro Papu Gomez. He may be 5'5 five five or whatever. And he may not be the best at headers. But that is what you call a sensational header. That's got to be one of the goals for the season. It may not be from 30 yards out. But that is just an incredible header. From Alejandro Papu Gomez. He's on his fifth goal in La Liga this season. And we have tied it up 1-1. One Great defense by Real Madrid, but still, still we might have a chance. Here goes Marcos Acuna, looking all the way on the back stick here. Alejandro Babu Gomez, oh! It's off the bar. Let's try to make sure that we take control of this game here. And here we go, all around, searching around. Alejandro Babu Gomez! Goal! In the 70th minute, we get the goal to complete, hopefully, this comeback against Real Madrid. Here's Fernando. Oh, what a ball to find Alejandro Papu Gomez here. We know what he's on. He's on a hat trick. He's got it. Alejandro Papu Gomez. Take a bow. Say what you want about him. He has just performed a master class against Real Madrid, one of the best teams in Spain, if not in the world. Oh, here's Real Madrid. They're looking for one of two that they need, and here goes Karim Benzema. Benzema still going. They're trying to cut it around. Well, that's a decent play from Real Madrid. Just of course. There it is. The game is over. Sevilla 3, Real Madrid 2. Alejandro Papu Gomez was 
incredible this game. It wasn't just like a... It, I, this was not like a normal hat trick. It wasn't like his hat trick against Athleti or Gabriel Jesus' hat trick um, earlier in this episode. It was just a spectacular hat trick from the midfield, and he just dominated the game left to right. Obviously, you're only going to see highlights and things, but in the middle, he was winning the ball back, and it was incredible. The fact he has a 9.7 rating is like the most disgraceful thing ever. And I said I'd probably end off in the Real Madrid game, but you're going to get a couple extra games here. Quick Sim should do the job, but we'll see. And. Why? And so I'm going to quick sim this one. This should be a win against Hercules Almelo, but we don't know anything with this quick sim method, as always. But we do get a 2-1 to one win. Lucas Ocampos and Gomez, the two Argentines, scoring, and that will be enough for the win. So that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to end right here in late November. We got through a lot in this episode. We you can see that there's a gap for winning the title that's probably not for this season um we have to be careful though because we are just one point from slipping down to fifth and we do have athletic club in the next episode that win against hercules almelo you can see that us and chelsea have dominated the group we are first and second which is why in that next episode that game against chelsea will decide if we get first in the group or not. A couple more stats I just wanted to show you here in La Liga right now. Luis Suarez is the golden boot leader with 11 goals in 13 matches. He did score four against us, which is a big reason why. You can see Alejandro Papu Gomez is actually third with seven. And then additionally, Gabriel Jesus is also at seven, but he's in seventh because he's only played nine matches. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. As I said, episode number four is all wrapped up. We got through a whole month. The next episode, we're going to get through another whole month. And we're going to open up the January transfer window at the end of episode number five. But if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below anything about that. So make sure to stay up to date when I post more videos and stuff. Also check the Twitch in the description and the Discord and subscribe if you like the content, like the video, if you like it, because that's what it's for. And I'll see you guys on that next video. Bye bye.